about damn time. So guys, I know I know uh, y'all saw this news by now. Y'all heard the news by now, but for my, but former pres president uh, Donald Trump chose to finally take action and says in a press conference or a rally in New Jersey that he is going to sell. I'm sorry, he is going to sue the big tech giants, Facebook, Twitter and Google over unconstitutional censorship. They, okay, Trump, Trump first got banned when he, when he was still a sitting president, a government official. They censored. Fa Facebook, he, he, he was banned on Facebook. He was banned on Twitter. He was banned on on uh, Google, you can't, you can't even, you don't even know what what Trump is saying, what Trump is saying nowadays, and even though he's censored, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of people still, still crying out that he, that he, that he, that he has too much influence. So, and, so, so anything Trump or anything Trump says, pe people want to uh, want to automatically uh, be censored. They want to automatically be cut. And you know what? These people, these, these people, these these pro, these pro censorship people. They love it when it's the people on the right getting censored, but then they they hate it when it's a, a, somebody on the left getting censored, promoting violence. People uh, people want to say uh, Trump, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people say Trump uh, endorsed the violence in, on the January six January six insurrection, but that's literally the only the only argument that they got. That is literally it. They and then they would they would bring up all all these all these BS stories that say are. Uh, right but then it turns out they're they're wrong like it's all it's, it's all it's all these news coming out nowadays uh according to like like former president trump saying he did this wrong he he incited violence with this people he was racist against, against these people but then come to find out all those stories were fake and mainstream media put and pushed it because they knew people was too smart enough to believe it the, my thing with, with with this whole uh you know Trump suing big tech is that he should he should have just did he should have did this sooner he should have did this sooner because now you got because now you got conservatives you got Republicans being censored you know being taken off uh Facebook and Twitter and they are act, they are act, actual government officials but since they they are uh, pro Trump. They got censored, and the let and let this and the let this uh people are all for this. They're all for the censorship. They're all for censoring conservatives, saying conservatives are completely out of touch. But then they go out and support Joe Biden, who says the most outrageous things. But it, but 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 it's okay for Joe Biden to say these things because he's a Democrat. And anything Republican to these to these liberals, are is a. Uh, is like uh, the de the devils talk to them, and then uh, my thing is, who the hell is Mark Zuckerberg and Jack Dorsey to make these kind of rules? And the one thing I, I found out is that Twitter and Facebook is, is not it's not a it's not a private company in, anymore. If it's if it's being ran by the government, yes, it's not it's not a, it's not a private company anymore. They they they're being, they're being paid off by by the by the by Democrats Nancy Pelosi Adam Schiff Chuck Schumer you name you name it all being paid off to to sit to censor conservatives censor Repu Republicans because they have di different views in them and they don't, they don't want no they don't want nobody thinking think for themselves Jack Dorsey and Mark Zuckerberg are full blown liberals they don't they don't like hearing. Conserv conservative views, or or they, or they don't like hearing capitalist views, even though they are full blown capitalists. They are full blown capitalists. They ain't so they ain't socialists. They ain't Marxists. They are full blown capitalists. They are worth billions of dollars. Work or work they asses off to get that money. Work they asses off to make to to make Facebook and Twitter as famous as it is now. Instagram, TikTok, all they own all of that. 
but it's 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 bad that the, that that uh Twitter at uh, the Twitter censored a sin president for inciting quote unquote inciting violence, but then they have actual child porn on their platform, and they say it's okay. No, 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 Lily. That's a, that. That's an actual story. Apparently, this one, this one kid su- uh, sued uh, Facebook. Well, yeah, we have the fa- not Facebook. We have the Twitter for having some child pornography on a on a platform, which happened to be the kid that 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 was a condom in the first place. And then Twitter, then the uh a the a hoes at Twitter had the nerve to say, yeah, no, I, we don't see nothing wrong here. It's fine. Nobody nobody called out Twitter for this one. They didn't. Nobody called it out. But now that uh, t- uh, Trump announced that he that he was going to sue Facebook, Twitter, and Google over, you know, unconstitutional, unconstitutional censorship, it's something that that should be that should be done a long, long time ago because because you because you do have conservative channels being censored like Stephen Crowder, like Stephen Crowder, you have uh, the li- the liberal high mind who has, who has now reached over seven hundred thousand subscribers, being uh, he's been shadow banned. He 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 barely reach, reaches over five hundred thousand thousand uh thousand views now, even though he has over seven hundred thousand subscribers. I got to, I got censored on Twitter, no yeah I got shadow banned on Twitter, for for just talking about the Hunter Biden story that was all over mainstream media, it was all over it. But apparently, YouTube YouTube thought it was it was a good idea to just to just not the Twitter thought it was a good idea to just censor me, when all when I was when all I was doing was. Saying the same things that mainstream media was talking about, but apparently I got censored, shadow ban, and I'm not okay with that. I don't I don't like when, when, when people think it's okay to, to just t- to just uh to just put a muzzle on me. I find that hell hell dis- disrespectful, especially when I got the freedom of speech to say what the, what the hell I want. But according to these giants who play who plays God, yes they play God. YouTube you play God. And say I shouldn't say this because you don't like it. I don't give. I don't give a fuck what y'all like. Y'all took y'all y'all already took down a couple, a couple of my videos for being pro Trump. I don't care. I, I really don't care. I really don't give a fuck what I say now. But YouTube, go yeah. YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter are now are now being put on the fire. So let me guys, let me guys read out. I'm sorry, let me guys read out, read out this this, uh, this uh, Fox News article. Trump to sue Facebook, Twitter, Google over alleged censorship says they cease to be private. Former President Donald Trump on Wednesday announced that he would lead a lawsuit over alleged censorship against Twitter, Facebook, and Google, three tech companies that removed them from their platform, moved them from, from their platforms after the January 6th Capitol, attack on the Capitol by a mob of his supporters. The lawsuit would be a class action. With Trump as the lead as the lead plaintiff, As claiming that he's been censored by the companies, he spoke about the legal action from his golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey. I stand before you this morning to announce a very important development for our freedom and freedom of speech. Trump said, in quotation with the American First Policy Institute, "I'm filing as the lead class action rep- representative." A major class action lawsuit against the big tech giants, including Facebook, Google, and Twitter, as well as the CEOs. There is no better evidence that, that big tech is out of control than the fact that they banned the sitting president of the United States earlier this year. Trump added, if they can do it to me, they can do it to anyone, which they already did. Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook each barred Trump over his false claims that, 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 that the presidential election was stolen, alleging that he con- 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 contributed to the violence of the Capitol on January 6th. YouTube is owned, it's owned by Google. You know, see, you know what, what I find funny about this? They were so quick to ban Trump, saying the election was stolen. But Hillary Clinton has been saying it for five fucking years. Five fucking years. Hillary Clinton said the election was stolen. And guess what? There was no evidence to claim to claim that she she lost the she lost the election fair and square. But di- but then five she, she goes on a continued rank for five years. Say, Saying Donald Trump is a, it's an illegitimate is an illegitimate president because you know even 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 not, even I was surprised at this because because nobody thought yo this this billionaire come came came in doesn't know anything about about politics how can he win turns out he won 
Hillary Clinton is, is still on Twitter. She is still on Twitter. Where's and big and, and Twitter and Facebook had, had never censored her. Yeah, Twitter and Facebook ne never censored Hillary Clinton. And she for five years she's been she's been cl claiming uh about how she lost the election by fraud and not because you know she wasn't she wasn't eligible enough to be to be the president. Now Joe now now Joe now Joe Biden's office he's he's completely messing everything up. So let me go ahead and continue with this article. Quote. At the close review of recent tweets from uh, the real Donald Trump account and the context around them, specifically how they've been receiving and interpreted on and off Twitter, we have permanently suspended the account due to a risk of further incitement of violence. Twitter wrote in a blog post about this decision. But again, you guys have Antifa and Hillary Clinton and the squad and the squad and Maxine Waters and Al Sharpton promoting violence. Yet they still on on, on your Twitter. They still on your post. Biased? Anyone? Anyone? Anyone would want to yell? Biased? Biased as hell. But Republicans and Trump his, himself maintain that these companies are unfairly censoring conservatives, pointing to the international dictators who still can post on Twitter. Trump said that, that the, the lawsuit will be filed in the Southern District of Florida seeking injunctive relief against shameful citizenship of the American people. They were three. There were three separate complaints filed in Miami federal court under Trump's name Wednesday, one against each of the social media giants. Hey, in case you guys didn't know, uh, Project Veritas in, ended up getting a victory over Twitter because they because they literally wanted because they literally tried to uh, sue because uh, Twitter. I think uh, Project Veritas wanted to uh, sue Twitter, but Twitter said only in California and Project. Project Ver Veritas said, "The hell with that. We gonna we gonna we we not gonna do it in y'all territory. We we y'all got bought and paid for judges. We not doing that crap." So, I'm I'm pretty sure Trump wants wants to go wants to go the same route. He do, he doesn't want 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 to go to a bought and paid for judge in California. He wa probably wants to do it in like Florida or in New Jersey or New York or so, some other place that you know is not. That Trump, that Trump, I think trust is not bought and paid for. But it's nowadays, what isn't bought and paid for? There were three separate complaints in Miami federal court under Trump's name was a one against each of the social media giants. Quote: While the social media companies are officially private entities, in recent years they they have ceased to be private with the enactment with the historical use of Section Two Thirty, which profoundly protects them from liability. Trump said, "It is." In effect, a effect a massive government subsidy. These companies have been co-opted, coerced, and weaponized by government actors to become the enforcers of illegal, unconstitutional censorship. Trump called social media companies the de facto, de facto censorship arm of the U.S. government. He added, "Quote: This was especially clear during the pandemic, citing policies against co contradicting health experts and the fact that these companies suppress information." Alleging that the coronavirus originated in the Wuhan Institute of uh, Virology, which is true. Now it's it's more people coming coming out, even Dem even Democrats coming out that the uh, the corona that COVID nineteen was created and was leaked in the Wu in the Wuhan lab in China. But Twitter and Facebook was so was so quick to censor that, saying it was racist. But it turns out Trump was right. Again, what's what what is that what is their accountability? So Sana Weisman of the Libertarian R Street Institute, which supports a robust reading of Section 230 to, to provide broad protections to tech companies, pushed back on Trump's comments. Wiseman said the idea that tech companies benefiting from a, a law prevents them from being private is asinine. Quote, government cannot wave a, a wand and say you're public now, she added. The idea that this is a subsidy is also nowhere near the truth. And finally, government Pressuring companies are companies taking cues from government entities also does not magically turn them into government actors. Actually, it does. Quote, this is a full mis mis misunderstanding of how, how the law works, Wiseman added. Trump lawsuit is going to be led by the American First Policy Institute, AFPI, a nonprofit run by several al allies and alumni from the Trump administration. AFPI president and CEO Brooke Rollins in introduced Trump before the remarks Wednesday. Quote, it's, not surpri it's no surprise that when... The that they want the First Amendment gone, while it said of progressives and, and elites. 
they don't advocate for abolition, but they do advocate for curtailing and intermediateness. Nowhere is that more evident than in the suppression of First Amendment rights online. AFPI's Pam, Bo Pam Bondi, meanwhile, said the lawsuit isn't just for conservatives who believe they've been wrong, but also to protect, to protect others. Quote, this isn't just for conservatives. This, this is for our media. This is for the Democrats and even progressives whose speech should be protected under the First Amendment. She said, do you remember that Tulsi Gabbard was censored when she was running for president? The Associated Press contributed to the support. So, again. Yeah, so, you, so, good, so, I'm, I'm all for this because YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, Google have been tripping for the, for the past half, uh, for the past year and a half. Ever since they, they, ever since two thirty came in, see, they see, they, Trump should have, should have did something about this when the Republicans had, had the power, but for some reason, this didn't come into, into the picture. And we had these do, these do nothing Republicans once again in action. See, that's what, see, that's what I'm saying. We need people who, who, who actually want to do, want to do their job instead of actually using it as a, as a title, because, because that's what, because that's what it is nowadays in the, in the government. It's all just, just a title. They, ha they get elected, but then they don't do squat. And spe especially when it, when it comes to like the Democrats, they get they get this position and then they just abuse their powers and then they basically just crap all, all over the black all over the black community. So Trump can't so Trump suing Facebook, Twitter, and Google for this. I'm not for it. Because like I said, there's there's a lot there's a lot of uh, YouTubers being censored and Brian Stelter on CNN saying, yo, censor these guys because they get more views than I do. Then maybe you should you, you should do better, Brian Seltzer, you, you freaking walrus. Facebook, Twitter, and Google are abusing their powers. Section two thirty. See when when Congress gave gave, gave uh, the big tech this, they was happy because they because they know they, they they couldn't get sued if they if they, if they screw something up and they have been screwing up a bunch of times. Because this is, this is a. Silencing people on using their First Amendment, like this, like this little people on this platform saying people should kill themselves, but they still, but they still are. But since they, but since they not Trump supporters, they fine. But if if it, if it wasn't a Trump supporter, boom, they get censored real quick. Steve, Stephen Crowder is one strike away from being complete, completely, completely, completely uh, taken off uh, YouTube. Tim Pool, I think, it's the same thing. And conservative channels as well are being are being uh, censored. They they can't they can't grow more. I'm at, I'm having a, I'm having a hard time growing myself because even though I know these videos could could, could uh, reach a high higher audience, but nope. Big tech wants to censor anybody that goes that goes uh, that's not with the Democrat plantation. And that's a it, that's a complete bias right there. So. I'm I'm cool. So I'm cool with Trump doing this. Hope, I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know if he's going to win or he's going to lose. I'm not going to say he's he's just, he's just going to immediately win this case. I'm just going to see how it goes because Section 230 has protected big tech for for two for too many years now. They should they should be held held accountable as well as as the as these uh politicians as these Congress people in power. They they should all, they all should be held held accountable they, just because they have this. This one bill should not should not mean that they are protected for being sued. But let me guys know what y'all think in the comments below. Are you guys for this or are you guys for Trump suing uh, big tech or are you for censorship? If you if you are, let me know in the comments below. If you like what I'm saying, like, comment, subscribe, share this video. I will see y'all on the next one. I'm out.